It's Mark from ArcherPoint. Today, I'll be walking you through on how to use the change lock functionality in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. As a Dynamics Nav user, you may need to identify who and when someone has modified a field value. For example, if you want to record all changes in the allowed posting dates field within the GL setup, using the change log is ideal. While you could use the roles and permissions tool, this only allows for controlling who can make the changes, but it doesn't record who changed it and when. With the change log, we can log the insert, modify, and delete operations in the whole table or selected fields to record any changes. To start things off, open your Microsoft Dynamics Nav client. Go to the Departments page, and under Administration, click IT Administration. Click Tasks, scroll down, and click on Change Log Setup. Now, what you want to do is to go ahead and check this box to activate the change log. Once you've done that, click on Tables in the upper navigation bar. So this is where you can view the change log setup table list. You would want to select for which the tables you want to activate in the change log, select the appropriate fields, whether it's an insert, modify, or delete. And please note that if you select all fields under the drop-down options, some fields are all fields. A lock, if you select all fields, a lock entry will be created whenever any data element in a table changes. If you select some fields, a lock entry will be created whenever any data element in that table field changes. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change the sales header. First, I would go ahead and search for that and I would under, let's say I want to know when the sales header table is modified and deleted. So what I would do is under the drop down option for log modification, I will click some fields and do the same thing for delete. Now. Using the assist edit feature, which is this ellipsis, you can select the fields for which you want to use or track changes. So let's say I want to track when my order date is modified. So I would go ahead and click modified. And I want to know when my posting date is deleted. And I will go ahead and check this box. Once you're done, click OK, click OK, click OK. And once you have set up all the tables that you want to change the log for, you then need to reopen the nav client to the change log to start recording changes. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Reopen my nav client. And it'll pop up here in a second. And to view your change log entries, you would navigate to Departments, Administration, IT Administration, General, Change Log Entries. And from here, you can find log entries for the tables which you have just configured in your setup. So each entry has a date and a time, the primary keys, the type of change it was, the old value, the new value, and that's about it. So you can see, for example, here that just a minute ago, I inserted all these things. And these are all the records that show that I've changed whatever I've changed in which table. Now, there are some best practices for change lock setup, though. It is advisable not to set up change lock for all tables and all fields. 
While it is easy and simple, this will have a huge impact on your database size because every single event from every single user will be logged. Because you can see that my initials and user IDs are recorded down here. Imagine if every single employee in a company's actions were recorded. That would take up a lot of size. Now, try to keep change log on selected fields of setups that impact your business most. This also helps with managing the database size. If you have any questions about this change log function or any other questions about Dynamics NAF in general, please contact ArcherPoint. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you and have a good day. Thanks for watching this NAF Now video. If you found this helpful, please check out our website at www.getnavhelp.com. Otherwise, feel free to also check out our ArcherPoint website at archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thank you.